Webheads, comic book fans, this is 2022's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. Fans, this is week 32. Before we jump into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mutant Beaver Comics. Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader specializing in exclusive variants with over 900 exclusives in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis. Their mandate is is to offer the widest selection of exclusive variants on the planet along with top-notch customer service. If you guys enter promo code CORNER10, and not only can you save 10% on your first purchase, but every other purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives. MutantBeaverComics.com all right, fans, so welcome back to the video series where each and every week you get to vote on your favorite comic book covers based off of the top 10 I provide for you here today. We do this week in, week out, and by the time we get to the end of the year, you will also have that final say on which comic book cover gets the all important title of comic book cover of the year. So before we jump into week 32, we got to find out who won week 31, and let me tell you, it was a fight between a Joshua Middle. Poison Ivy issue 3 and the DC vs. Vampires issue 8. Yes, Bar Batgirl with the crossbows. And the winner wound up going to the DC vs. Vampires issue 8, the Nath Nathan Xerxes variant. That one by the skin of her teeth. So Batgirl prevails and it moves on to the next round. Let's kick off this week's countdown with number 10. And number 10 goes to X-Men Legends issue 1, the Care Andrews main cover. Man, you want to talk about a cover that's got everything going for it. It's got the X-Men exploding off the pages here. And it's got a cool background with like panels or covers of the X-Men in the past. Uh, this looks like it will be a fun comic to purchase. But I just love all the characters' facials, expressions. And again, it's just very explosive. So if you want this to win, make sure you vote in the comment section below. No more than one vote per person, guys. And if you don't like any of the top 10 comic book covers I provide here for you today, you can always write in your your pick and it could start to trend and overtake the other top 10. Moving on to number nine, we have Miss Marvel and Wolverine issue one. This is the Asrar variant. This is the second cover that's got Wolverine on there, but this time he's got Miss Marvel and he's got obviously his fellow X-Men in there. So obviously based off of the Disney Plus show, it's considered that uh, Ms. Marvel is now a mutant. So it's funny how they stick her on this cover here with other mutants, right? We'll see what happens with her going forward into the future, but I thought it was a cool cover with them being all on it. Moving on to number eight, we have Axe Judgment Day issue two, the Mark Brooks main cover. Now, this cover is awesome because you get to see the scale of the celestial. You get to see how big this thing is compared to a power pole and to all the other X-Men and Avengers there. And I love how you see the silhouettes of the characters and the celestial looks pretty lifelike. I love how you get kind of like these beams coming from his fingertips and his chest and whatnot. It's like the sunset in the background as well. Looks pretty awesome, man. I wouldn't want to come in close contact with the Celestial. All right, coming in at number seven, we have Deceased War of the Undead Gods, issue one. Don't miss out on this series, guys, if you're a DC Deceased fan. This one is cover E, Incentive 1 in 25, done by the all-famous Francisco Mantina, cardstock variant here as we have a samba vibe, uh Cara, on the cover she looks weird dude and i thought this was pretty intense because you can see she's like clawing her skin out from her man that is just intense i guess it starts from her face and it works all the way down i'm like man that is creepy i can't wait to actually see this cover hopefully at my comic shop i would love to purchase this one coming in at number six this is venom lethal protector issue five this is the arif prianto main cover this is great. This is just a fun cover with Venom on it, taking out all the bad guys. What I love about Venom Lethal Protector is that this is a book that takes place in the 90s, and you get to see all these B-rated villains on here. I don't know who the dude is behind um, Venom, 
I, I don't know if it's Paste Pop Pete or whatever it is, but the main character on here is Taskmaster, and that's who's fighting uh, Venom in this particular comic book, so I'm looking forward to it. And the cool thing about this is Venom's got all these weapons in his body. Really cool looking stuff. Taskmaster looks badass. What do you guys think of this series so far? All right, coming in at number five, we have Dark Crisis, World Without a Justice League, Green Lantern Issue 1, The Gotham City Limit, Kirkham Variant. Holy cow. That's just an awesome cover with Jason Todd on there becoming a Green Lantern. I just love the transition as you get to see it happening. You get to see his face mask actually change into green. I'm a huge Green Lantern fan. Why does this happen in this particular comic book? Who knows? It just looks cool. I love how ripped Jason Todd looks in this as well. The wrinkles in his pants and his vest and everything else. He's got lots of detail. I think it really pops. So if this one is your favorite, let's vote for it. Coming in at number four, we have a cool Black Panther cover to show you today. This is Black Panther issue eight, the Paquette variant. This is awesome as you get to see Black Panther on the branch and there's all these other Black Panthers next to him, just regular Black Panthers. The sun sets in the background, you got the cool logo in the corner as well, and the further back you see the Panthers, the more their eyes kind of stand out a little bit. Looks great, man. Awesome, good looking cover. If this one is your favorite, guys, you know what to do. Coming in at number three, if you're a Spider-Man fan, you're going to like this one. And this is the Avengers issue 59, the Bagley Beyond Amazing Spider-Man variant. I'm sure Spider-Man has nothing to do with this cover, but if you love Spider-Man comic book covers like I do, you're going to want to pick this one up as it has all kinds of different versions of your favorite webhead, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, with all the different types of costumes he's worn. Uh, looks like you got Scarlet Spider costume. Maybe it's Scarlet Spider there. I don't know. You got the white suit Spider-Man. You got Cosmic Spider-Man. You got Spider-Hulk. You got even Eric Larson Spider-Man where he dressed up as Deathlock. You got Ben Riley Spider-Man. You got all the different types of crazy Spider-Man on there. Great looking cover. I want to know what is your favorite costumed Spider-Man? Coming in at number two, we have a really kick-ass cover, and I would love to see this battle happen. But before I get into that, this is Predator Issue 1. The long-awaited Predator is here, but this is a great cover. This is the Ken Lashley Variant A. Look at the Predator as he's got his mouth open like that, and he's got his claws extended out, and he's got the skull through it. Dude, that's so detailed. I love that. He's got those crazy little beady eyes and stuff. Man, it's been a long time, right? This is a great cover. How much would you love to see the Predator vs. Wolverine? That would be a great battle to see. Hopefully it happens. All right. But coming in at number one, my favorite comic book cover. This might not be yours, but this is mine. This goes to the Amazing Spider-Man issue seven, the one in 25 Gleason variants. And we got no John Bermuda here. We got Gleason doing this main cover. And this is just creepy, right? You got old man Vulture on top of Peter Parker, Spider-Man. And he's ripping his mask off with his teeth. Like, that's just creepy and just, ugh, right? I want an old wrinkly man ripping off my mask. That's just gross. But I like it. I think it's intense. And uh, I just love Patrick Gleason's covers. I think it looks amazing. So if this one is your favorite, let's vote for it. It's just nice and refreshing not to see Ramuda on this cover, right? So there you guys have it. There are my top 10 comic book covers of the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now it's your turn in the comments below to vote in the comments section. And of course, guys, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right here to click on. And as always, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read your comics. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you real soon.